I'm sure you can't see it, but there is so much uh, glitter in there. I think I overdid it. Hello, and welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. Today, I have a very exciting bonus video for you guys. So just to kind of start it off and give you context for this, this video is in partnership with Warner Brothers for their new Elvis film that is going to release just this week. Warner Brothers asked me to search my local vintage shops for a Elvis or Priscilla themed outfit. And so that is what I will be doing this video. And I'm really excited about it. I already decided I'm gonna go with an Elvis look just because I think his fashion's more iconic, honestly, than Priscilla's. But also, in multiple interviews, Priscilla has talked about how controlling Elvis was about her style. And so it doesn't necessarily feel like her style is her own until later in life. So I just kind of wanted to stick to Elvis's style because that was very much his own. And I thought it'd be fun to do something kind of gender bendy and different on this channel just because I am usually dressed so feminine. Just a few more details about the film. It is going to span three decades of Elvis from I believe Memphis to Las Vegas, and it will be coming out only in theaters on June 24th. I wanted to get this look together in time for the premiere. So my first steps to getting this look together are to go to one of my local vintage shops and see if I can find a fun look. My inspiration for this challenge, I wanted to do early Elvis. I actually don't super love later Elvis's stuff. It's very glitzy and glamour and that's all great and fun and you guys know I love that, but I really like really, really femme glamour. And so if I am gonna go more masculine, I do kind of prefer the gritty or kind of more blue collar looks that are from earlier in his life. One of my big missions for this vintage shopping Trip is I want to find a pair of jeans. Elvis was known for wearing jeans. He wore a lot of Canadian tuxedos. I struggle to find jeans, so I feel like this is a great opportunity to go to a vintage shop that is kind of more specialized around denim and try to find a pair of jeans for me. And then I'm also looking for some funky polos. I think Elvis had great tastes in polos and buttons ups, so I would really like to find something kind of funky and fun. So the shop I'm going to head over to is called Lucky Lemon Vintage. I'm very excited because he's soft opening this weekend and I haven't actually ever made it to one of his shops because he usually does pop-ups once a month and I get really overwhelmed and overstimulated at pop-ups so they're not quite a great way for me to shop for vintage however with him soft opening his store I think it'll be nice and quiet he has great taste in denim and kind of that more casual and masculine look that I am looking for so let's go ahead and hop into the shopping here we are in the soft opening of Lucky Lemon Seattle I I absolutely adore the way the store is laid out. I believe up at the top you have all the pretty highly collectible things and then you have things in categories by type. There were definitely a lot of really great clothes here and I of course went right to the dresses even though I'm looking for jeans because I really can't help myself. There were some great 60s things. My friend is being goofy behind me. They're gonna regret it when it ends up in the video. I figured I would just look in the dresses and see if there was anything that would work for an Elvis look. <laughs> I did pick up this dress that I'm showing you because I thought the polo top would be good and I could maybe figure out how to tuck in the skirt part, but I couldn't, so I will show you this dress in a different video. After looking at dresses, I was responsible and went over to the jeans section. Honestly, shopping for jeans has been really mentally tough for me lately because I outgrew all of my jeans during the pandemic and it's been really hard to find anything that fits me, so I picked up this pair. I thought it was absolutely perfect. It was faded. It had pleats. It seemed like it would work really, really well for me, and so I I tried them on and I almost cried when they fit because this is the first pair of jeans I've found that has fit me in over two years. So I was absolutely ecstatic. And I wanted to point out they did have a sweatshirt with Elvis on it himself uh, and a little postage stamp. From there, I went into the tops section and I was looking through all the sweaters and fun things in here for a good polo button down type of top. I found this guy here, which I thought was absolutely adorable and had kind of like the type of detail I'm looking for. It's a gym uniform from the 40s. It was super, super fun. However, I did end up passing on it just because even though it was super cute, because it was a 40s gym uniform, it was rightfully a little bit out of the budget and it is shorter and not likely to get a ton of wear in my wardrobe just because it's not necessarily my normal style. I did take a quick peek through shoes and I was tempted by a lot and I will for sure be back in this shop to look for more denim and shoes and things like that. Definitely check out this shop if you're in Seattle. I will link them down below. A huge thank you to Lucky Lemons for letting me film in their shop during their soft opening. 
and I picked up other things here that I'll show you guys in another video. Already I have picked up my items from the vintage shop so I am now going to show them to you and kind of talk you through getting my look together. We're going to start with just the basic outfit and then I'm going to go into hair and makeup. So the first thing I picked up is this pair of jeans. I think these are perfect. They're kind of faded denim. They have like some nice pleating to them. I don't know, they're just kind of more men's looking pants than a lot of pants I've owned. I like that they're a light color and then they also do have some staining throughout them, which is actually great for me because that'll make it so I feel comfortable wearing these pants to do stuff like make pottery or garden because I won't feel as precious about them. These are Levi's, which I also, I don't know, think is fun for an Elvis look just because he and Levi's famously partnered on a pair of black jeans. Although Elvis did not invent black jeans like many people seem to think he did. I I'm gonna put these and I'm gonna start by putting these with just this plain white tank top I have in my closet. That looks really good with high-waisted pants and then I think I'm gonna try pairing this with leather to start getting that elvis -y look. So I'm gonna real quick change and then I'll be right back. All right, uh, so now I am in these jeans. Actually, let me angle my camera a little bit. I don't know, I still feel like they look kind of Elvis-y. Then I just have this plain boring white tank because I decided I wanted to put leather with this and I have two leather jacket options. I have this one, which I feel like is kind of fussy for an Elvis look early Elvis who I'm taking inspo from is very non-fussy with his clothing. So let me go try on the second one. I think I'll definitely go with this one. I like the plainness of it. It feels a little bit more vintage. And then the last thing I kind of feel like this needs is a belt. So I feel like Elvis wore a lot of interesting belts. I was looking for this white belt because it's kind of Western and Elvis was kind of a Western-y guy in his style. And so I feel like this will be a nice like harken back to that. And then I don't think he's known for bolo, bolo ties, but I think I'm going to grab a bolo tie anyway for this look. And now I just have to get it around my waist. And then I have a couple bolo tie options, but I think between these two, this one's too Western. So I think I'm going to go with this more subtle Western one. And from here, I guess we'll job. I think I'll do hair first. All right, I've done some hair plans off camera because I am not known for being particularly great at hair. So with that, I think what I figured out is I think I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail and then I'm going to kind of do like a little 2000s style bump it in the front. You know, the 2000s being in and all. We're going to do it. <laughs> this is, yeah, hair is, hair is not my thing. Okay, we've got a ponytail. Get it in the back. Poof it up. Start to get it to maybe fall to one side a little bit. I think we're getting somewhere where I'm happy. Questionable, but I think it looks fine from the front. We'll wrap it around and then we'll pin it and we'll call that good. I did it. Okay, now I just want to kind of pull out some some baby hairs. And then the last thing I have is glitter spray. You will not be able to see it. I probably will be barely able to see it. Why can't I spray this? Jesus Christ. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I'm sure you can't see it, but there is so much uh, glitter in there. I think I overdid it and I am very here for it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Before I get all serious, I want to see if I can show you guys how sparkly my hair is. Uh, I didn't realize how excessive it was until I got in a mirror. Look at that. So much glitter. I love it. So here for it. Okay. <laughs> enough of that shenanigan. Let me find some concealer and then I'm gonna start chatting at you like I usually do when I get my makeup bag out. Uh, I'm going for pretty minimal makeup. I just want some like fun eye stuff uh, with maybe some more glitter. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more. I'm excited to see this film. I think it will be a fun film with like fun aesthetics and like a fun form of escapism. It does talk about how this film is more about his relationship between him and his manager than anything else. Uh, so I don't expect like a ton of focus to be on uh, his marriage to Priscilla or um, also the way he took all of his musical inspiration from the black community, which I think is a really important thing to address. And I wanted to make sure to kind of talk about it here since I prefer to talk about these things on my channel. But Elvis is known for culturally appropriating black music and bringing it kind of more mainstream because at the time black artists were not allowed to become mainstream because of the racism in America 
And so I think it's really important to acknowledge that. I think movies like this serve a couple of different functions that I think are good. One is it allows us to kind of revive the conversation around Elvis and his appropriation of black culture and teach more people about it, which I've seen on TikTok and things like that. Everybody's been kind of talking about how Elvis appropriated black music. And I think that being able to have these conversations are good um, because I know I learned more things about Elvis. And I think it's okay to enjoy really aesthetic and fun movies like this. If you take a like critical eye to history and don't take movies like this words for who that person was, these movies are designed to be escapist and non-problematic and fun and aesthetic and glittery. And I think it's always really important to root yourself back in history. So in rooting myself back in history, I learned a lot more about Elvis's cultural appropriation, but I also learned that Elvis was a skis. I didn't know this about him. His wife Priscilla was only 14 when she met him and he was 24 and that is not, not it. That is so gross. Priscilla herself has recounted in many interviews and articles he controlled about like her life and her appearance as his wife and she moved in with him at the age of 17 so she was still a kid when they like when their like love story began so I'm not sure how this movie is going to portray their love story but I think again this is why it's really important to like research movies that you're going to use as a scale escapism is just so you know the like realistic and you're not out there saying you want a relationship like Elvis and Priscilla because you don't. I just think it's important to talk about things like this and I think movies that resurface somebody's legacy gives you the opportunity to critique and talk about their legacy and the problems there but I think as long as you're ingesting movies like these with an eye towards like being critical in our discourse outside of these movies I think it's okay to see them. I definitely am watching this movie but still thinking critically about who Elvis was and like how much I should idolize him. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, I guess, my little rant about Elvis. And so yeah, it's kind of funny, I guess, to be making a look like Elvis while talking about these issues, but I do enjoy Elvis's style and I think there's a lot of fun to be had there. And again, I think you can enjoy something or feel inspired by something, but also think about it critically. And I think I just need like a nice little nude, nude little lip and then I think I'm ready for the reveal of this whole look together. And here is the final look. I absolutely thought this was so fun. I have not dressed this masculine in a long time and I know I'm not looking particularly masculine, but this is masculine for me, okay? So I absolutely love kind of the Western flair. I also think that fits Elvis since he is from Memphis. And then I did end up going back with the more what I called fussy jacket because when I was thinking about it, Elvis did like the glam and the details. And so I wanted to kind of take that into this outfit and also give it a little bit more rock and roll. I think the hair works really well for a modern interpretation of his hairstyle. I think this look is absolutely fun and I felt so mask in it and I can't wait to wear these jeans a bunch of times but also probably put together more looks like this because I actually really felt like myself in it and that was a really interesting discovery since normally I dress so much more femme than this. All right, you've seen the look in all its glory and all its glitter. <laughs> um, so that pretty much wraps up this video. First, though, don't let me forget about the giveaway. So I'm going to do a giveaway. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm gonna have a link down below where you can find your way into a quick Google survey. In it, you'll need to fill out your full name and your email address. And then from there, I will go into a random number generator, generate a number until I get a number that I have of the cells. And then I'm gonna pull five names and you'll receive a Fandango gift card in your email to go and see the movie. I believe it will be $35, so it should be enough for you and your friend to see it. If I am wrong about how much it is, I'm gonna link that down below, but I believe it's $35 and I am choosing five people. So be sure to go down below, click that Google survey link and fill it out so I can give some free movie tickets away. I personally am very excited to go see this premiere. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm going with a bunch of my friends and we're all gonna dress up. I. I'm just excited for kind of a hopefully fun and kind of glittery and glitzy distraction just because uh, honestly it's it's been a rough month and so it's always good to go out to a movie 
and see something different that you haven't seen before and I'm very excited about the costumes and all of the fashion in the movie. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much to Warner Brothers for partnering with me and a reminder that Elvis is out in theaters on June 24th. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to stick around, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you around and I will see you next time. Bye!